This is four-year-old Yoni Gottesmith, a happy athletic kid from Santa Barbara. In 2005, Yoni went to swim camp at the Cathedral Oaks Athletic Club in Goleta. He never came home. He's taken out into the middle of the pool. He's dunked 12 times very aggressively, as you can see on the video. And then the camp counselor essentially swims away from him. In the summer of 2005, Yoni Gottesman's parents took him to a summer camp. It was supposed to be a fun and exciting experience. It was promised to be a safe experience. Instead, on his first day at camp, little Yoni drowned. What you are about to see is taken from the security camera at the Cathedral Oaks Athletic Club where the camp was held. The video contains graphic and disturbing content and viewer discretion is advised. Beginning shortly, a gray colored tracking circle with the letter C above it will appear around a Cathedral Oaks Athletic Club camp counselor, Sam Shipley. Shipley was in the pool with Yoni Gottesman and aggressively dunked little Yoni underwater numerous times before he died. A red colored tracking circle will appear around Yoni. The tracking circles will follow these two throughout the video. COAC counselor Shipley dunks Yoni underwater. COAC counselor Shipley dunks Yoni underwater a second time. COAC counselor Shipley dunks Yoni underwater a third time. COAC counselor Shipley dunks Yoni underwater a fourth time. COAC Counselor Shipley dunks Yoni underwater a fifth time. COAC Counselor Shipley dunks Yoni underwater a sixth time. COAC Counselor Shipley dunks Yoni underwater a seventh time. COAC Counselor Shipley dunks Yoni underwater an eighth time. COAC Counselor Shipley dunks Yoni underwater a ninth time, this time with another child. COAC Counselor Shipley dunks Yoni underwater a tenth time, again with the other child. COAC Counselor Shipley dunks Yoni underwater an eleventh time, again with the other child. The COAC lifeguard on the far side of the pool, David Marin, leaves his station. COAC Counselor Shipley dunks Yoni underwater a twelfth time, again with the other child. COAC Counselor Shipley is surrounded by numerous children, including Yoni. He swims away toward the lane line, and they swim after him. COAC Counselor Shipley turns around as he gets closer to the deep end, and the children chase him back towards the steps. Yoni desperately attempts to reach COAC Counselor Shipley, but Shipley continues to dodge the children. After Shipley deserts him, Yoni is unable to make it to the wall. He stops moving approximately five feet from the wall and begins to float face down.
COAC Lifeguard Marin returns to his station. The COAC Lifeguard on the near side of the pool, Michael Bowen, leaves his station for approximately 21 seconds to clean off a kickboard. Yoni has been floating face down for one minute. COAC lifeguard Bowen is playing with adjusting the umbrella at his station and not watching the swimmers. COAC lifeguard Bowen turns away from the pool for approximately 16 seconds to adjust the parka jacket on his chair. Yoni has been floating face down for two minutes. Yoni has been floating face down for three minutes. Yoni has been floating face down for four minutes.
Yoni has been floating face down for five minutes. Yoni has been floating face down for six minutes. COAC counselor Shipley plays with children right next to Yoni. COAC lifeguard Marin leaves his station to get a soda. He does not return until after Yoni is pulled from the pool. Yoni has been floating face down for seven minutes. At the same instant, COAC counselor Shipley dunks a child very near Yoni, but takes no notice of the motionless figure floating in the pool. Children close to Yoni go underwater to look at him, then yell to COAC lifeguard Bowen and counselors. Yoni has been floating face down for eight minutes. A female COAC counselor on the pool deck points out Yoni to lifeguard Bowen who still had not taken any notice of him. COAC lifeguard Bowen jumps in the water. COAC lifeguard Bowen pulls Yoni from the water and places him on the pool deck after Yoni had been floating right in front of him for more than eight minutes. After three and a half years, Yoni's mother, Anat, still can't bring herself to view the video. I think for everyone it's hard to watch someone that struggles for his life, and it's my son, and I feel that I can watch it because I wish I was there to save him, and it's probably in his last moment struggle for his life and looking for someone to help him. The Goddessman's attorney showed the video in court to convince a jury that the club's lifeguards and counselors were improperly trained. The jury agreed and awarded the Goddessman family $16.2 million, but nothing can make up for their loss. Child's life are priceless. No money will bring Yoni back, and I wish I could give him my life. I will give everything for him to live.